Meantime, Nasi is facing heat. After months of telling Canadians not to shop around, they are now suggesting you can get the Johnson & Johnson shot if you cannot wait for Pfizer or Moderna. Johnson & Johnson and AstraZeneca vaccines have been linked to extremely rare blood clotting. Both shots are now approved for Canadians 30 and over. Let's break this all down. Let's bring in infectious disease expert and member of the Ontario Vaccine Task Force, Dr. Isaac Bogosh. Good morning to you, Dr. Bogosh. Hey, good morning. It's been a while. Thank you for joining today. Uh, I just initially want to get your take on this messaging when it comes to the Johnson & Johnson and then the idea of a preferred vaccine, because the message we've always heard, Dr. Bogosh, has been the best vaccine is the first vaccine. So what's your take? Yeah, I mean, there's what is the message and, of course, how the message was delivered. In all fairness, when we're talking about vaccines or anything, we have to talk, and let, let's just obviously contextualize to the vaccine here. We have to talk about the benefits, obvious here. This is a potentially deadly infection and the vaccines provide very good protection against this. It also protects your family. We have to talk about the risks. We know that there's a very, very low chance, but not of course 0% chance of these blood clotting events. So benefits, risks, the alternatives, which is, waiting and waiting until you get another vaccine and of course getting COVID-19 during the time you're waiting. And then the fourth thing that's often left out of the equation is context. Like what's the context? Well, currently the context in much of Canada is that we're in a massive third wave. We've never had this much COVID-19 than ever before. I'm sitting in Ontario now. It's not every day that you're admitting adults to your pediatric intensive care unit or setting tents outside of the hospital. Uh, to put patients in or calling in healthcare providers from other provinces to help out. Like, pretty clear that this is a public health emergency. So, in the context is that there's a ton of COVID-19 around, and, and, and obviously you have a potentially life-saving vaccine at your disposal, at least enable people to make an informed decision so they can get it or not. Now, that's not really how the message came out, mm -hmm. but if you actually dig deep into the document, that message is buried in there. So, I mean, I, I still think it's a good vaccine. And, uh, and, and same with AstraZeneca that also has these uh, blood clotting risks associated. Rare, but of course not 0%. We just have to have an honest conversation about it. I think we can enable people to make an informed decision. And of course, in the context of a public health emergency with potentially life-saving vaccines, you've got to enable people to make an informed decision and give them that option. Absolutely. Thank you for contextualizing and bringing those numbers to us. I think it's very important to highlight. Now the other question, we had a lot of people write in and say, listen, I got that AstraZeneca shot and now we don't know when the next shipment's coming in. Will it be okay for the mix and the match and the, the various cocktails? We've seen studies at the UK as well. Do you assume this is coming down the line soon? Yeah, I, I, so two things. One, the data is going to be available imminently. It's going to be out in a week or two or three weeks. Like, we're going to have an answer to that. But on the other hand, too, if I was to speculate, this is pure speculation. This is not the data. This is pure speculation. Like, it, it's very, very likely that this is going to be not only a safe thing to do, but also a very effective thing to do. And I think we're going to start to see a lot of that probably in the weeks and months ahead. That's purely a guess. I got a, you know all the asterisks and caveats beside that because we don't have the data yet. But my guess is that it's going to be a safe and effective approach. When we look south of the board of the FDA looking to potentially approve for, for youth the Pfizer vaccine 12 to 15, I know there are the studies underway here in Canada for those who are younger. Um, what do you anticipate the timeline might be for the younger population? I think it's sooner than we think. I really do. I mean, uh, Pfizer has that data. They they released it via press release, so we don't have all the data. But of course, when they're discussing this with the FDA, the FDA has their hands on all of the data. Um, as per everything we know, it, there was no safety signals and it was effective as well. So I really think that we will likely be seeing this like hopefully before the school year, maybe as early as the summer, but it's, you know, we'll, we'll see. Health Canada's got to do its job and, and, and ensure that they've got access to the data so that they can make an informed decision as well. Very quickly for you, Dr. Bogosh, we've got about 30 seconds left. Everyone wants to know, do we think that some restrictions could potentially be lifted? Do you think we're going to see a little bit of normal in the, say, next one, two, three months? I know, hard answer here, but oh, yeah. what do you think? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Clear answer. I do, for sure. Listen, May's going to start off terrible and end up much, 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 much better at the end. It's not going to be perfect at the end, but we're already seeing arrows pointing in the right direction. We're far from where we need to be, but we're at least on the right path. We'll get there. We absolutely will get there. Thank you. Thank you for leaving us with the positivity. And may the, 
I'm not saying it. I'm not going to say it. You know I'm not going to say it. May the blank be with you. No. Oh, or do you like it? Do you like it, Dr. Bogosh? Do you do like it. when people say do it? Do it. Do it. You know what? I'm going to say it once for you because you provide such a, a such oh, great wow. information. May oh, the wow. fourth be with you, uh, Dr. Isaac wow. Bogosh. That's it. Dr. Bogosh. It's Just Dr. Bogosh. That's it. That's it. Have a great day. Welcome to the dark side. Wow. See what they made me do? You see? That's how much I like you, Dr. Bogosh. That's, that's all I got.